hello everyone welcome back to my little channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day um if you guys are new here please subscribe and leave me a little comment on what you guys thought about the nails also don't forget to check out my online store zule nail shop um the link's going to be in the description for all the products that i'm using hello ladies so today we're going to do some poly gel nail I already went ahead and I took off her nails. Girl, I even cut my mom because she moved. That being said, it wasn't coming off. Uh-huh. No, it did not want to come off. Like, bitch, we want to stay. I'm going to be using a new color from our new collection. I don't know if you guys saw the post, but we have a new nude collection. Hi, Gina. How are you? I'm waiting on my client while watching this. Ooh, nice. I'm going to be using this Luscious Lips color. It's so pretty. Can you zoom in a little? Um, Yeah, I'll zoom in uh, just a tad bit because then I move out of frame. Hopefully, that's good enough. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Hello, Lina. So, do you guys want to see the nails that I'm going to be doing today? I'm going to be doing a nail set with some, um, what is it called? Some marble ink. Oh, hi, Leslie. How are you? You must love us so much. Two lives in a row. She, for real, y'all spoiled because I was not going to come live. I was like, is it really a little late? These bitches are going to be like, girl, we're waiting for you earlier. Yes, these are her real nails. These are natural. I'm just going to apply poly gel on top. So that she keeps growing them. Yeah, I'm going to do the poly gel first. And after I file, I'm going to do the marble ink. You're going, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, welcome everyone. Tap the screen. I love your pink and orange. They're fire. Thank you. I didn't really love them, love them, but they're kind of nice, huh? Super bright. Gotta see that. I tried and they ended up messing up on me. What 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 are you gonna try? The marble ink? Oh, you made a mess. Yeah, the marble inks, you guys can use them in different ways, like making marble. You could do different things with it. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing marble ink. I'm not going to do marble, but I'm going to use the inks. Because I was debating, like, what the fuck am I going to do? <laughs> what did you do, marbles? Well, I can't grow my nails. They hurt me. I can only do one fail on myself and soak off. Um, my nails don't grow fucking nice. Mine go sideways. Do the polygel have a heat spike during curing? Um... I feel like if it's too thick, yeah, you will feel a little heat, but that's with anything, any product, any gel product, or even acrylic. So if you ever do feel a heat spike, I recommend to stick your hand in and out and then put it back because the heat spike only happens the first couple seconds. Hi, Cynthia. How are you? So I'm going to put a little bit of rubber base gel. There's still product on her natural nails. I tried to just remove as much as I could, but I didn't soak them this time. And um, I prepped them and everything. And this rubber base gel is very important. Hi, Laura. How are you? I'm leaving for the sunflower nails. If you guys haven't copied my nails, bitch, why the fuck not? Why the hell not? Ooh, thank you, Cynthia, for the little doggies. So cute. Thank you very much. Loki, I thought she wasn't going to like her nails. Ooh, thank you, Laura, for the heart. Damn, I got some new hoes today. i never seen your little faces before. Have you guys always been, like, undercover and shit? Undercover, brother. Hello, Araceli. Are you going to do acrylic? I'm going to do poly gel nails today. 
So if you guys have been wanting to try poly gel and you don't know how the fuck to work it, um, today is a good day to watch. Okay, stick it in. I need a tutorial on how you done the pink flowers. Um, I actually posted it on YouTube already. So if you guys don't follow me on YouTube, I um uploaded them earlier today. So I'm gonna be using my spatula brush with the gel brush, the twin one, and then also my other my other brush. I'm using everything from my brand, so um Zulate Nail Shop. I'm gonna use my gel pro brush. I'm just trying to clean it up. Yes, Victoria, here you go. Hello, thick thick smith girl. How are you? So here are the new nails. They're just a little dusty because I'm a dusty bitch. So this is gonna be the color that I use today. It's called Luscious Pink. I just kidding, Luscious Lips, not Luscious Pink. Um and it's part of the new poly gel collection. I haven't swatched them off for you guys. So I can show them to you. But let me just say they're fucking beautiful. So this is going to be the base color for the nails. And then I'm going to add all the color on top. Depending on the length of the nail uh, is the technique I use for poly gel. Because these are not that fucking big. I just do it down the middle and then I pat it. My scoops were fire. Yes, honey. Everybody got their scoops already? This color is so fucking beautiful. I'm trying to think, like, what acrylic does this one remind me of? But I don't know if I have an acrylic in this shade. Poly gel could be used on acrylic. Um... I would say you could use acrylic over poly gel, but poly gel can be used instead of acrylic. So it's another type of enhancement. If your family doesn't like the chemical smell or you're pregnant or you just don't like the chemicals, mm -hmm. um, poly gel could be a good option for you because it doesn't have a scent. Like, the only time where you can kind of smell something is maybe when you're filing, but your mom, dad, neighbor, they wouldn't really know you're doing nails with this shit. Because it's, like, pretty Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. And it's so easy, too. It doesn't dry. It doesn't dry until you stick it in the lamp. So that's one of my favorite things. And, um... Another thing that I like about the poly gel is that it doesn't run, bitch. So you're like in control the whole time. If you feel like you didn't do it right, like you could keep playing with it until you're happy. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the lamp real quick. And then I'm going to put the, the other bead. So you guys can see here, I already built the whole nail. I'm just going to do the cuticle next because I need more, honey. I met the lamp. I'm just going to care for a few seconds. There's no such thing as a healthier method, to be honest. It just depends on the nail tech and the, the client on how they remove it. So, like, if you rip your nails off, no matter what you do, whether it's gel, poly gel, acrylic, and you don't remove them properly, they're all going to damage. I have my coffee sheet over here. You think it looks like natural beauty? I think natural beauty is a little bit darker. So this color is so pretty. Do you guys want to see my mom's nails? You guys want a sneak peek? Do what? For cheaper price, good for your business in the future? Um, Oh, like doing promos if it's a good thing? Um, It depends. From my experience, um, from my experience, I when you do promos, it doesn't really help. Because I used to do nails for free or discounted in hopes that the people would come become a customer. And it never really, they never came. They only came for the deal. They only came for the deal, but they didn't come back. So, I mean, try it, but... 
I'm just saying it doesn't always work. Do it for a little bit, okay? Not forever. Hello, everyone. Welcome. We have the two Myras in the house. So I went ahead and switched my brush to this one for the cuticle. Because I feel like it's a little stiffer. Um, like I could apply a little bit more pressure on it and get in there. Then the other one is a little longer. So when I press it, it doesn't really, I mean, it does amazing cuticle work. But I, I feel like this one just kind of in there, in there. Do you use regular monomer on the poly gel? No, you have to use alcohol. So I'm using, I want to say this is 70%. I personally feel 70% alcohol just works the best with poly gel. Right here, I'm going to add a little bit more because I forgot. I missed the spot. Hello, Yanni. Hello. What are you using for your slip solution? I'm just using alcohol. El alchol. Que nos enseñe, que nos enseñe. A ver las manos. All right, guys, look. Check out my mom's colorful nails. They're so fucking cute. I feel like they need a little something, something. They're super cute already. She said que quiere um, break from el bling bling. So I'm like, okay, but can I put something else? <laughs> can I put something else? So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that with a um, marble ink. Super fucking easy. I'm just going to add a little bit over here to the side. Dale, mamá. Um, I kind of wanted to add like a little star or something for some reason. Like a little gold, gold accent. But she's not going to let me. She's like, girl. Okay, but Yes, these are her natural nails. They're all natural. They're like five months growth. I think we've been growing them out for like five months. So right now we have a new collection that just arrived today. I put it up on the website. And if you guys get the whole collection... You guys are going to get this two-in-one gel brush with a spatula along with the Gel Brush Pro. Um, this is the one that I like to use for application. How many sets can you do with a tubo? It depends. Um, I haven't done like multiples out of one, um, but it honestly depends on the length of the nails. Like, check it out. Right here, you see Navergota. I mean, I you. Um, for my size of nails, you can't do too many, but I heard you could do a couple. And then you don't always use the same colors for everybody, you know? So it honestly depends. I only do my mom's nails. And here and there, my own. Entre tarde, hola. Do you think too much bling is bad for a wedding set? Hell no. Hell no, nah, girl. You should see my wedding set when I got married. Mine was but dazzle as fuck. So if your dress is a little bit more on the simple side, then I would say go for it. I mean, even if it's crazy, like but dazzle. So pretty, I want to grow mine, but I don't know who to go to. Um, Just go to a... Nail tech, a home-based nail tech. Don't go to regular nail shops because they really don't care about your nails. They um will just cut them without asking. But not everybody's natural nails are nice. Like, for example, mine, they grow fucking twigs and ugly going that way, going that way. So I wouldn't be a good candidate to grow out my nails because they just not it. They not it. Did you post your wedding nails set? Yes, I did. I got married seven years ago, though. So it's in there somewhere. It's in there, but... So natural nails are so thin. All your natural nails. Um, You would benefit from a rubber-based gel, too, if you're trying to um, grow out your nail. 
because the rubber base gels are like regular gels but a little thicker um the only thing is that you can't wear them after a certain length because you could still break your nails that's why i started to um i started to put poly gel and acrylic on my mom because after a certain length the rubber base gel was not strong enough i'm a method just bought the whole collection damn gina girl you're like fuck that i need the whole thing these colors are so pretty if i have time no nah, i'm not gonna do it today i wanted to swatch my new colors but they're all beautiful and nude in the nude category i mean i'm gonna Learn the nude category. All right, I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I'm trying to make them kind of like natural, not too like thick, because I'm gonna put um marble ink later. How did you do the rose with acrylic? I did them with a um, 3D brush. You guys can watch the full video on my YouTube channel. I uploaded it earlier today. Um, so if you guys want to see how I did my nails, they're up on YouTube. I'm just making mine pink and orange too. Yes, honey. I was going to do my mom's nails orange too. But then I was like, you know what? I want to use one of the new poly gels. And then um, I'm like, nah, I'm just going to get her colorful. I'll make her colorful and I really, really, really wanted to use poly gel today. So I was like, fuck, let me think of something, something easy and not too crazy because I know she don't want to. Hi, Mason. Welcome. Yeah, we just got here. We were having dinner. We're so lazy that we didn't even cook dinner. So I'm missing a whole ass side over here. I'm going <laughs> to, I don't know how that happened. I'm at the look. Can you mix can you mix gel polish and ombre with poly gel? I'm sure you can. Um I haven't tried it. There's a lot of things that I haven't tried with poly gel because I'm not that good at it yet. Like I feel like I could barely do a whole color. Like I want to try um I want to try doing marble. I want to try doing a french, but I'm like, "E girl, let me get the one color application down first and then I can move on to something else. So I'm just going to apply some here because I kind of missed this side. I could see her natural nail all over the place and shit. And I'm like, oh my God. That's one thing that I don't really like about natural nails. Because they be peeking through fucking sheer-ish colors. I mean, I'm not saying this one is sheer, but um, sometimes you just cannot hide them. And it's like they're peekaboo, honey, peekaboo. But it's okay because we're going to paint over it. So if we could see some nail, we are going to paint it. I just want to make sure the thickness is even on this side. Zule, do your wedding nails again. Oh, um, maybe for my, for my, um, ¿cómo se dice? my anniversary they were fucking beautiful back then they weren't all that and a bag of chips like they weren't that cute but now imagine doing acrylics with that brush that would be a challenge girl this will not pick up no fucking acrylic at all i would be there for days so I'm going to do the whole five fingers with the same color. And then I'm going to add the color on top. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Yes, Gina, I know. But I'm not going to add any more because there's enough thickness. I only added here because I was missing some. Um, some product. When I paint with the gel on top, it's going to cover that area. What poly gel are you using? I'm using our new color, um, Luscious Lips. 
luscious lips. So I don't want to put too much on the edges because I don't want the shape to get whiter or whatever. Um, I'm going to paint with, with polish in a little while. So it, it'll cover up any lighter, lighter um, areas. I love the orange and pink. Everybody loving my nails. It's so funny because everybody here on TikTok loves them. But I asked on my Instagram which one you guys like better. And mostly everybody did. Um, They did. Um, What is it called? They chose sunflower, honey. They chose a sunflower. I'm going to make this one a little longer because I think this one's kind of short. Hello, Jesse. How are you? Welcome. Welcome, everybody. If you guys are new here or you're not new, you just be like quiet all the time. Feel free to ask a question. Hi, May. How are you? Um, I just can't get this fucking little piece over here. Feel free to ask a question or something so we could chit chat. Why do the nails? Because y'all know I can't shut the fuck up. And if I'm not talking, I'm, like, bored. Is it hard to make nails go like this? No, not at all. I feel like poly gel is way easier than acrylic. If you guys haven't tried poly gel, I recommend it. Um, and the easiest part about poly gel is that it doesn't dry. Like, it doesn't run. I was talking about this earlier. I'm quiet because I'm watching a master at work. Just beautiful. Ooh, thank you, honey. Hola, Mireya. How are you? Where's El Jefe? I thought we fired you. Me? Or El Jefe? This is not El Jefe. It's my mom. Hi from the UK. Hello. Do you prefer poly over acrylic? I'm still learning poly gel. Like, I know how to do it, but... I'm still trying to, like, perfect it, you know, where I could do it fast. Um, but I feel like poly gel is definitely becoming my bestie. I just need to learn how to do other shit, too, you know? How long does it last? It lasts the same thing as acrylics. As long as you... um. As long as you prep the nail properly and you apply the poly gel well, it lasts just as long. I tried it on myself and I didn't lose a nail. I didn't break one or nothing like that. Oh, I got fired? What do you mean? When? When did I get fired? Can you feel it? Yes, you can. You could definitely feel it. You could feel, you could fix a nail, you could do everything. You could fill with any product. I think the only thing they don't recommend to fill is um a like gel X set, although you can still fill those. Those are not recommended for fills. Okay, I'm like, the fuck, when did I get fired, girl? I didn't even know. What do you put on the nail plate before using poly gel? Um, I add the the prep trio. So this nail's coming a little wonky towards the tip. It's stressing me out. I'm gonna need to add some more right now. I'm using um alcohol to spread it out. So one thing that I did learn from my followers is to um Keep the brush wet at all times, not so wet where it's gonna like leak and shit and get into the skin or whatever. Um, but wet enough. I met them. Wet enough so that um it doesn't get sticky. Yeah, I, my next my next set I wanna do poly gel. Especially with my new nudes. That's like a primer. So the steps to poly gel is the same as acrylic, a manicure, whatever. You have to file your natural nail. Put your bond aid. 
and your primer, then rubber base gel, your base coat, and then the, the poly gel. So I need some product down here, so I'm just going to put it here. You cure after each? Yes. I, I cure in between each layer of poly gel that I add because you can add more while it's still wet, but you run the risk that you're going to mess it up. You know, like you're going to pat it and then it's going to move. So I just cure um for like 30 seconds in between every application. If that makes sense. To use the ephah on the cuticle? Yes. I use the ephah on the whole nail, actually. I don't really hand file these because you can file, you could get the shape real quick with um, poly gel. Then also make sure it's fully cured. Yeah, so with gel, you guys need to be careful that it's fully cured. Otherwise, it can live, crack, bubble, or whatever. But another pro that I like about poly gel is that it files so good. It files super easy and that's why they take so long. All the, the process, I feel like you can do like a couple of fingers at a time and then cure. But if your client is clumsy or you are, then I don't recommend it. Do you plan to try acrylic, Mason? I wish my mom se dejaría to do her nails. Mi mom no se dejaba antes tampoco. Pero ahora, eh, hey, ya le gustó, ¿verdad? Ya le gustó a la Marta. Ahora se deja, aunque no se enrede. ¿Verdad? Mm. Just, just um, do her nails once, and then once she gets all the compliments, she's going to be like... Cuando me hace las uñas otra vez. They like it as long as they get compliments. Ma, ¿te chulearon las uñas que cargabas? Mm. No veo ningún lado, Ya no me acuerdo. No, no fuiste al doctor? No. Ni en la Costco? Mm. No. Tampoco. Estaba haciendo frío y... No, hombre, entonces te vamos a tener que poner bling bling otra vez. Porque como que no te las chulearon. Do you still have the silver tab on the tube? Yes, I didn't take it off because it stressed me out. Like, that shit was stuck so good. So, um, the, it comes with a seal. <laughs> and I couldn't take it off. It was so stuck and I tried to put my tweezers and my tweezers bent and I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm just going to poke it. You tried it, but it stresses you out because it dries quick. Oh, yeah. You probably need to try the slow setting. But you know what? Poly gel is just better, period. I feel you're already a baddie with poly gel. You don't need to be adding other shit. Does it take a lot of product to do a set? No, not at all. It depends on the length of the, the nails, but no, you don't need a lot of product. I'm still trying to get the hang of how much product to add so I don't be wasting. Like this little piece right here that, oh, damn, I just touched it. This little thing that I'm touching, I mean, taking off. I could use it for the cuticle, but I want to cure it. For the thumb, for the thumb, I'm going to use a nail form to extend the nail. Bitch, I, this was my first time trying poly gel with a nail form. And let me tell you, it's so easy. I'm going to become a nail form poly gel queen, honey. Hold on, let me take this off because it's stressing me out here. Es que ya me llegó el público and you guys are stressing me out. I mean, making me nervous. My poly gel comes off so easy like it just comes off completely from the nail tip. Oh, okay, like it doesn't stay? Do you file the nail tip? 
Mételo. Do you file the nail tip, M? Ahora no estás con Marta. Aquí está la Marta. Can you use a tip with poly gel or is it more overlay? You could use a nail tip. You could use it as an overlay. You could use a form, whatever, honey. You could use whatever. Whatever tickles your pickle. Is a confirmation email sent once you place an order from your website? Um, Yes. Unless you put your email incorrectly, then you won't get one. Did you place an order and didn't get a confirmation email? I could check for you later if you did. Because sometimes um you guys are typing so quick, so quick. That how to call it, um, you put an extra dot or you misspelled, you put an extra number or something. Okay, Jessica, when did you place your order? Today? Um, Do you think a poly gel set should cause the same as an acrylic? Hell yeah. Why not? Why not? I would charge the same as acrylic. Probably even more because they probably can even last longer. I just feel like they stick way better to the nail too, so. You show sure fucking can, bitch. You show sure can. Hello, Viola. How are you? Oh, May 15th. Oh, did you order um scoops? Your order probably ya te va a llegar. Maybe it already in your mailbox. Go check. You think it should cost more? I mean, you could set your own price, girl. Personally, I feel like you can charge the same, maybe more if you want. Um, but to me, I feel like it's so easy. This hand is not coming out as good as the other one because I'm in a weird-ass position. But earlier, I didn't really have to file a lot. Marta, ¿cuándo vas a tener el cat eye? Suli, um, I already have it. I already have it, but I'm waiting for my vendor to... Metal? I'm waiting for my vendor to send me the sticker correctly because they made a mistake with my numbers at the bottom. So, it came in with a number that says 203 instead of 180. I mean, if you don't mind that and you want to fix it on your own and you want it already, I mean, I could sell it to you like that. But I asked for the stickers. I could fix them. Hello, Sophie. How are you? Welcome. Oh, Sophie, good thing you're here. Hold on. No, ya sé, pero como que le quería poner poquito más. Um, you're going to be one of the next Zeho collections. Um, do, what do you want to put as your name, Sophie? You want your name name or your whole name, Sophie the Slayer? Oh, shit. No, sit down. Hold on. I need to put the nail form. Hold on, guys. I need to put the nail form. Are you doing scoops? No, I'm not doing scoops until probably the end of the year. Okay, Sophie the Slayer. Okay, I hope that fits. I hope that fits in the sticker. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. So I'm going to use my nail form. I had it already here on the side. And she's on number five already. Oh, fuck. That thought sideway. Dude, I didn't even put it on. Hold on, guys. Let me get a different one. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Um, yes, I believe these are soakable. Because I've soaked my mom's nails before. They are hemma free as well. Oh, the puzzle timer. Give me a second. Thank you for reminding me. 
35 minutes. Alexa, set an alarm for 25 minutes. 25 minute alarm set for 7.52 p.m. I fucked up. Hold on. This is a part that I hate from the nail forms because when they want to help you, I mean, relax your finger, honey. Relax. When they want to help you is when the nail form doesn't sit right. You know? Ma, relax your finger. Because levantando. Her finger want to go up. Okay, there you go, honey. The nail form is on. But it's not on good. What the fuck, honey? Hold on. Fuck you, nail form. I'm not very good at nail forms, guys, but I still try. Abre la mano. So it has to lay flat. Otherwise, you didn't do a good job. There you go. She's a number five. Is it crooked? All right. So let me put the poly gel on here. I love your accent. What do you mean, honey? I don't think I have an accent. Some people tell me that and I'm like, what do you mean? I don't have an accent. I mean, depends, huh? Somebody, Mimi used to tell me that. She's like, I love your California accent. I'm like, girl, what you mean? No, it's just her eyes. Hey, just kidding. Uh-huh. I'm like, girl, is it crooked? I can't tell. I do have an accent? What the fuck? Really? So I'm just going to bring the poly gel down to a size 5. When I did this to her other hand, to her index finger, bitch, I was like, girl, I'm about to love nail forms and poly gel all in one. Because normally I hate doing nail forms, number one, because I struggle sticking them on. But number two, because the acrylic sometimes be wild and it be wild and on the nail forms, you know, like they be running, but this shit doesn't run. I'm like, oh my God. Yes, I'm from California too. Girl, you do have an accent. Man, what the hell? I didn't know how to fuck an accent. The book. Oh my God, Becky. All right. So I did make this one more like a number six. Let me push it back up. Like, just kidding, just kidding. Go back up. Hola, Marisol. Bienvenida. I was playing around with her earlier, and I was like, what if I made your nail square? She's like, I don't want that shit. All right, so back to number five. Back to number five. All right, metalo, please. Your mom's nails are just getting longer and longer. Yeah, she's a number five already. Can you believe that? What's that thing on the nails called? It's called a nail form. It's a nail form. So next time, remind me to put nail... I'm going to put nail forms on myself. I feel like I'm not the best finger for nail forms, but I'm going to do it. My natural nails are getting long. How does she get them so long? I've just been doing her nails. Like, for example, today, I removed her acrylic and I did her nails right away. Do you think it's easier to freeform it like that or to use poly gel nail forms? I've never used the poly gel nail forms, but I'm sure those are way easier than, I don't know, actually. They look kind of easy, but if you put too much, then you're fucked. Alright, All right, so I'm going to take it off already because it already dried. You could leave it on if you want, but you don't have to. Let me cover my shit over here, honey. 
honey. How do you get the poly gel off of the nail? Like, how do you remove it? Um, if you want to remove it off the nails, you can file it off. It files so easy. Um, or you can soak it. You can soak it, honey. A stain resistant one. I believe Young Nails has one. I want to say Young Nails has a stain resistant top coat. So I personally prefer filing the nail down. Like literally, it files in one, two, three. You don't even have to put too much work. If you have an extra coarse bit, it files so fast. You'll reach the natural nail in like two seconds on high speed. My ear. Yeah, our poly gel is super easy to use. It's not super thick, like hard, but it's not like too squishy either. It's just, just right, I feel. Um... We have a lot of colors on the website. So if you guys want to try it, you guys can go ahead and get one. The little tubes is 11 cookies. If you want a bigger one, double the size and it's 20 cookies. All right, I'm going to cure it and then I'm going to come back to this area. Metelo? What do you dip the brush in before forming the gel and the nails? I'm using alcohol. Yeah, I prefer to file them down instead of soaking, right? Like, just the soaking is stresses me out, too. I hate waiting. I hate not doing anything, so I think filing it off is my fave as well. So, look, this is what we're going to do today, guys. We're, I'm going to show you guys how to... Uh, let me cover that. Okay. We're going to give her some colorful nails. I'm going to see if she lets me put something here in the middle, like a little gold something. Do you have brushes on there too? Yes, we sell everything. We sell brushes. We sell nail tips. Um, If you guys buy the new Poly Gel collection, you guys are going to get this brush and this brush with the collection for this weekend, for Memorial Day weekend, okay? Some chrome, some chrome, honey. Or I'm gonna add a little piece here because me pasa de verga. Zule, when did you change your nails to orange? Girl, last night, what you mean? You were not here, honey, where were you? We changed them last night. All right, well, I'm going to just fill in that little side. How long did it take me to do this? Like 40 minutes, huh? One fucking hand. That, does that take me? When I do acrylics, does it take me that long too? Ooh, you had an overnight day. Wow. So this color, you don't have to encapsulate. You could just cure it and be done. Okay, metelo. How can I get the poly gel clear? How can I get the poly gel clear? Um, what do you mean? It's not out of stock. You fell asleep. You guys fell asleep. I know. I'm sorry. Yesterday, well, I came on really late. That's why today I was like, fuck no. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go get on earlier than 8 fucking p.m. All right, I'm going to get ready with my dust collector because with poly gel, you do need to you do need to use a dust collector. If you guys don't have one, you need to purchase one. Because that dust gets crazy. I can't wait to see what I got in my scoops. Melissa, you haven't got your shit yet. Heat it up with warm water before the tube. It will make bubbles come out. What? What do you mean? 
I'm an MD, so I'm way later than you. Plus, soy vieja y tengo tres hijos. Ah, that's funny. Oh, it's because I, yeah, it's already 10 p.m., huh? No, pues, wow. All right, let me just clean them with alcohol. Oh, the poly gel. I hope guava is one of them, and I'm getting it tomorrow. Oh, okay, you mean for her clear, her clear poly gel? Yeah, you guys are going to love the collection. I was going to swatch it today with you guys, but I want to watch a little TV with Patrick when I'm done here. So I won't be able to swatch with y'all. But at least we got to see one color in action, which is this one. All right. So I'm, I'm going to file her nails already. Fuck. I'm going to put it in. Let me get my little drill. I'm going to use my sanding band. I don't know, but I like sanding band for poly gels as well. I normally don't sand. I don't sand with the sanding band on acrylics. Have you ever used hard gel? Um, I've tried it as a beginner and I didn't like it, but that was because I didn't know how to use it. So I would give it another chance. I feel like once you're a little bit more, um, like, knowledgeable how to, like, use different products, everything else is easy, you know? Like, I feel like the application for a lot of things are very similar. Oh, it's not an option? What do you mean, Anna? It should be. It is. Um... There's no picture of it, but it's on the on the drop down menu. On the poly gels, it's an option. So I'm just filing the bottom of the nail. And the reason why I'm using a sanding band is because it's it's soft enough i mean it's coarse enough to do some damage but still soft in the at the same time if i were to use something rough i'd shave down my whole fucking work up in here so you guys have to be careful with poly gel it's super soft and it will file you don't want to remove your all your hard work of application with a, a rough bit so the same sanding band that you use to file the natural nails, the one I'm using for the top. These are poly gel. I cannot see. I'm sorry. Hold on. There's like a little poly gel class, huh? Poly gel 101. So just like this. What speed do you have your drill? Right now it's at a four. It's at a number four. I wanna like zoom in my eyes to the nail because I can't see, but let's see. Do you guys see me in the in the shot? No, no me estoy durmiendo, neta. Neta. She's over here dozing off and shit. Oh, okay. No te vas a dormir, eh? The the speed of the drill is a four. I have it at four thousand RPMs. Four. It's really slow. Look okay. it. Let me turn her hand. No tanto, así nomás, así. Gotta reposition her. So you don't need it fast. As you can see, it shaves down super easy with not a lot of muscle, honey. You don't need a lot of muscle on that shit. Just a little bit. That's another reason why I love this. 
I hope my clients try poly gel because that would be amazing. Are you talking about the email? What? The email boxes of the scoops I got mine today. No, um, we're talking about the scoops we did um last week. They're literally the rawest nails I've ever seen. You lie, honey, you lie. We did um a scoop party last week. Was it last week or the week before? I can't even remember now. But it did take us a while to fully send everybody shit because we had so many orders. I'm like, Lord. I mean, it's a blessing, but at the same time, I was like, oh, fuck my life, honey. Fuck my life. I'm never going to see the end of the day of the tunnel. Is it expensive to ship to the UK? Um, yes, it costs about 42 cookies to ship a basic package, like a nice amount. So a few items you could get for about 42 cookies. So if you guys are from the UK, I recommend to order a little bit, uh, like a nice amount of stuff. Like save your little money until you could buy a few things. So it could be worth the shipping, you know. Or you can sell the stuff to somehow. How do I use the foil transfer? Um, You need to use it with foil gel. The foils you want to use with a foil gel, cure it for a minute, and then rub it. Rub it real good. You rub it real good, honey. All right. So I'm just going to finish finding the nails. See how easy this shit files, bitch? You're like, what the hell? What the hell? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, love what grid? This is our 150 grit file. It's soft and smooth all in one. Like it does the job, but it's not too rough. It's not too soft. Love watching you do your nails last night. They turned out beautiful. Thank you, honey. I know at first I was like, bitch, I'm just going to leave them basic. But I was like, nah, we need to put a little something. A little something, something. Hi, Ariel. Welcome. I'm a silent watcher, but I had a dream with you in it. We was at an academy. Ah, how cute. That is so funny. Like a nail academy? Or like a police academy? If you guys are silent watchers and you guys want to interact, go ahead. We, I, we enjoy it. We like talking to new, new booties, new booties. Say hello, ask a question. I will answer. And if I don't answer you, just comment again. Sometimes I miss them, but right now the chat is not moving very fast, so I think I could get it. I could answer. Um, what time was it last night? I don't remember what time it was last night when I finished, but it was kind of late. It was like 12 already, I think. When will the next bling scoop bling scoopy? I don't know, guys. I don't really do um bling or any scoops often. I do them every couple months, you know, because um just to keep it fun i'm a beginner nail tech i've been learning everything i know from you yay girlfriend all right so i'm gonna use this little bit in the cuticle area i'm gonna use it like at uh eight eight rpm can i use poly gel over acrylic for filling um that's a very good question i don't know I've never done it in that process. I, to be honest, I've never used acrylic and gel at the same time. I've heard you could use acrylic over poly gel, but I don't know if you could do the other way around. 
I'm sure you can. You just need to make sure that it's super, super scratched. Zule, I'm going to do poly gel on my opposite hand. Yes, you're going to love it, dude. I swear, I love poly gel. Sometimes I'm like, man, I'm not going to do poly gel no more. I'm going to do acrylic because I'm just used to the acrylic. But then I, I do poly gel and I'm like, dude, this is easy as fuck. Even if you do a lumpy nail. Even if you do one lumpy nail, like, you could just file it super fast and effortless. Look, we're already almost done, bitch. We just gotta file a little bit. I'm gonna file the shape now. Is it easier to file? Hell yeah, than acrylic. Hell yeah. Ac acrylic, you gotta put your back into it a little bit. But relax, relax. Like right here, I would totally be using the dust collector too, but um, I struggle to have the dust collector here. Like it gets on my nerves. I feel like I need space. Yeah, I have to start to relax because she's pretty stiff. I don't know if they just get stiffer as they age. Because she was asking me earlier. She's like, do you have elderly clients? I'm like, no, really. I'm like, why? And I'm like, um, I have clients in their 50s. But I think that's the oldest. And I'm like, why are you asking? Because you stiff? You are stiffy? And I'm like, I have clients that are stiff too. Let me close the curtain because... The dust collector seems to work. Yes, it does work good. Have to reposition. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see. I'm going to have to tie her down. Do you have your own brand dust collector? No, I don't. I have an e-file and a lamp, but no dust collector. Who knows? Maybe in the near future, I will bring one out. Well, hey, if you want to sell it, I got first dibs. Uh -huh. Sell what? What am I selling, Maria? Does she know English? Who? My mom? She understands it. But she don't talk it. Yo, dust. Your dust collector, girl. Hell no, I ain't selling my dust collector. Nah. I use it, but for this part, I don't because it gets on my nerves. Like, my chair's too short for it. That's why it gets on my nerves. So I use it when I'm filing the top of the nail, but when I'm shaping, I move it out the way. I need to learn those flowers you have on your thumb. Asia, girl, go to my YouTube channel. I just posted the video there. So this natural nail, it twists a little bit. So it be testing my expertise here. Your mama like them long nails. I was actually trying to get her to get them longer today, but she said she's not ready because... She said sometimes she can't even butter her faja. ¿Verdad? ¿Que batallas a ponerte tu faja? Ajá. Si me pongo las uñas más largas, sí. Dijeron, hi, miss. Hi, mamá. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. Oh, see? Hey. She only likes to say hi once. So if you guys say hi to her and she don't respond, it's because she don't like to repeat herself. <laughs> hi, Tina. How are you? You guys should have seen her. She even did an arm thing and everything. I'm just going to shape her little nails and then we can start with her design. Alexa, shut up. 
All right, I'm gonna keep looking at my thing. A ver, dobla el dedo. So I'm just, you guys may not be able to see this part because I have to flip her hand a little bit, but I'll flip it back in a second. Hola, Miriam. Yes, give me a second, guys. Let me just file her nail. Maybe I could show you guys. Have you ever had? Oh, yes, yeah, she's shy. She is very shy. Have you ever had a Manny Pro Passport? How's your brand drill in comparison? I actually have. I've had three Manny Pro Passports since I started. I love them. I feel like my drill is. Um, not too far off from the Manny Pro. It is um. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna add more to this shit, and I need to fix it over here because it's crooked. Um, it doesn't vibrate a lot. It doesn't vibrate a lot, and it's very powerful. So I highly recommend it if you don't have those 400 cookies from Manny Pro Passport. I feel like um I feel like my drill is is very good. So let me just double check it because this nail's looking a little funny. I told her earlier. What you're leaking? What do you mean, honey? Like it was raining leaking? So I'm going to go ahead and add more. Did you order the Manny Pro Passport of Koopa? Yes, that's the only brand that sells them. Um, I bought my first Manny Pro Passport about eight years ago. All right, so let me add a little bit more to this nail because it's a little thinner than the rest towards the tip. I was addicted to those drills. So when I first bought my first drill with Manny, I mean with Koopa, they had um a different handle piece. So when they came out with their new handle is when I decided to buy my second one. Um and I bought like a limited edition fucking box, which was a black one, black onyx or something like that. I only bought it because it was limited edition. <laughs> And because it they it came with their new handpiece, which was supposed to be lighter, I loved it. And then a couple years later, they came out with a pinkish purple unicorn looking one. And I bought one for myself because I was like, oh my God, that is so cute. And for backup, supposedly me, that was my excuse to my purchase. I'm considering selling my drills because I'm not going to use them no more. I love mine so much. That I doubt I'm going to use my Manny Pros. I also have a Cheetah one, actually. Okay, that looks a little bit better in thickness. So, let me cure that. Okay, metelo. Oh my God, me first. I got first dibs. I have to look for my shit. I don't know where they're at. They're in the salon, but I have to collect the pieces, you know? Hi, Nadine. Ahorita que andaba limando la uña, mira que está más flaquita esa. Mira que la obana, eh? Está muy skinny. I would love to buy one of your drills. You want a Zule drill or a Manny Pro drill? I'm a newbie. Any advice, please? I have tried a lot of things, but my nails always lift after three days. Um, what's your name? Shut it up. Um, well, that sounds... If they start lifting after three days, it, it has to do a lot. Oh, Katie, that's your name? Katie, um, it has to do a lot with your nail prep. So 
I would practice filing your natural nail. Um, one way that I was taught to to practice to see if I'm filing good was um to paint my nail to paint my nail red or like a bright color and um and then file as normal like your normal process and then right there the areas that are still red would be where you're not really filing you know because sometimes we think we're filing really good but how to call it um we miss some spots also, if you're not already pushing back your cuticle, I would recommend doing that with a cuticle pusher. You could even do it with a file. You could do it with an orange wood stick if you don't have a cuticle pusher. But definitely coming from there. And if you're not applying primer, that could be a possibility as well. Oh my God, there's still tornadoes? Put polish on nails. Joy's back in the days. Uh-huh. Back in the day when we had polish and shit, huh? All right. So let me just file the nail. Oh, shit. I forgot about the puzzle. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. But don't worry, as a beginner, that's good. That's everybody's troubled area, the lifting. Um, I remember mine wouldn't go past no week, and I'd already lose a nail, and I'd be like, what the fuck, man? What the hell? I'd be like, what the fuck? What the fuck? All right, so let me double check that the, all of them are around the same length. Same length. Last night we had one that the siren's going off at 2 a.m. Oh, no. And what do you do in that, in that, in that, um, when that happens, you have to go underneath, like to your basement? When the sirens go off? I hate this shape. It's like a love and hate because you got to double check that they're all about the same roundness towards the tip, that they're all kind of skinny. Yes, or the bathroom. What the fuck? For real? Oh, hell no. That's scary, girl. My anxiety would be off the chain. You can hide in the pantry. <gasps> In the pantry? Fuck no. I will be like, deuces, guys. My nail room's gonna be in the pantry. <laughs> Catch me outside, how about it? Uh huh. Almonds are my least favorite because depending on the nail, some are fatter, some are skinnier, and you just have to get them almost all around the same. On the same level. Oh, damn. Hold on, I'll put it. Yeah, I'll be scared. Remind me not to. I don't want to go visit anywhere where there's tornadoes, man. Because I will be so scared. I've seen videos and they look scary as fuck. Was the nail inspo? Um, I'll show you guys in a second. A ver, volta la mano. I'll show you guys the nails right now. We're giving her some marble ink nails. Something colorful. What are the colors for today? I'm going to show them to you right now. Give me one second. I'm just filing her little thumb because... Um, they take the most shaping, but if you can shape an almond snatch, you can do any shape. Uh-huh, that is so true. I don't know why, but this one is like calling my name. Let me file it a little bit more here. Okay. 
This is where I learn on these lives. Take advantage with a notebook. You're taking notes, bitch? <laughs> is that why you're so quiet, honey? You're taking notes? You writing? You writing? All right, let me buffy, buffy. Oh my God, todo. I love Sancho Chisme and Guayaba. What? Guayabe? I'm about to do my nails. Any idea for color? Do purple. Do purple. Best believe. Okay, honey. You smart taking notes. Yes, girlfriend. So I'm going to be using marble ink number 11. Number 11. Number 12. Number. Excuse me. Number 4. And marble ink number seven. Is there any idea of what the theme for June box is gonna be? It's gonna be colorful. It's gonna be a colorful box. My poor phone thinks she's smart. I know I type guayaba. <laughs> oh, guava? Guava or guayaba? I'm just going to like lightly buff. We still need a couple scratches on that bitch. So just in case you guys didn't know, gel sticks way better to scratchy surface. So don't buff it too much. Like, don't leave it squeaky clean. Like, leave scratches. Okay. Let me clean the nails real quick. I've been doing so much better on my nails thanks to my bestie, Westy, aka Culito. Hey, yes, honey. Trust me, after you do poly gel on your nails, you're gonna love it. You're gonna be like, fuck the fucking um, acrylics. Nah, the acrylics are always gonna be good for you, honey. Especially like flowers and shit. But. The puzzle didn't come out. It's already been past the time. I guess not going to come out today. All right. So I'm going to add some rubber base gel to the nail because I'm going to do some nail art. I'm just going to put a little layer. It doesn't have to be super perfect, but just wherever you think you're going to do your nail art. I'm going to use, um, I'm going to paint some white gel in a second. That's going to be part of my nail art as my base for the marble inks. Um, you don't have to use the, the white base, but if you want the colors to be more vibrant and stuff, I recommend it. You're my inspiration, my go-to. I look up to you so much. Love you, girl. Y'all make me feel hella special. Copy my little designs. But one day you're going to be my teacher, Myra. I could see you becoming a nail lady. A nail lady in the near future. You're going to be like, I'm taking appointments. And then you're going to have to be doing my nails. Be like, sensei. And then something new is going to come up. And then I'm like, can you do my nail, honey? I feel the, the time you save using poly gel, you use it doing nail art. Love the acrylic powder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not very good at nail art, but what I'm about to do is so easy. Anybody could do it. Anybody and everybody. Oh, shit. I just touched it with my nail. I hope the puzzle doesn't come out no more because I'm not going to be paying attention. So it's already an hour and 15 and that puzzle didn't come out. Yesterday when it did come out, it gave me almost four minutes to do the, the puzzle. So I'm hoping it doesn't come out. Yeah, you say you don't, you're, not, you're only going to do it as a hobby, but watch. 
it's that's what we all say and then we make it a career and then we love our life you know we love our job until you don't you know but mostly we love it for a very long time all right guys i'm gonna be using my damn look it is all fucking fugly my white gel my liner gel I'm going to put a little bit of my palette. On average, how long does it take you to do a set? Sometimes I feel like I'm taking long. Myra, I take a long ass fucking time. I take about two to three hours on a set. And um, if I don't talk, like if I shut the fuck up and just concentrate, which is never, I could go faster. I could go a little faster. But majority of the time, I'm talking. So... I feel like that slows me down. I'm going my, I, oh, you got your first client tomorrow, my friend's daughter. Oh, how exciting. Can't wait to hear how I went. All right, I'm going to paint a little white. Um, Hi, Mari. What is the como la flor for? The como la flor is for your cheeky streakies. It's for your cheeky streakies, honey, for your frijolito. So I'm just going to paint this part white, like squiggly-ish, nothing crazy, just like, it's a toy. It's a toy, honey. A woman's best friend. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean, okay? Just go get it and don't tell anybody. Un poco de cosquillas, aha, uh -huh. sí. Okay, so let me. I'm gonna do the bottom too. This gel is super high pigmented. As you guys can see, I only need one coat. You guys could put two coats if you feel like it, but I'm only gonna put one coat because um, I'm gonna be doing that one on top. ¿Por qué no habla tu mamá? ¿Por qué no le gusta hablar? No es cierto, sí le gusta hablar, pero um, es tímida. ¿Verdad, ma? Uh -huh. She's shy. No le gusta hablar con la chusma. Eh, hey, chusma, chusma. What do you use for your crystals? I use the Zule bling adhesive for it. Or if I'm using really, really big ones like my cluster, I use the cluster gel. Cluster gel for your nail. So this is going to be my little base. I'm just doing a like squiggly, wiggly shit. I'm just going to cure it for like 15 seconds so I don't fuck it up. Ooh, just got home. Let the weekend begin. Oh, yes. Lucky you. Starting the weekend. All right. So I'm just carrying it for. For. um For a few seconds. So I don't mess it up because I'm a clumsy ass hoe. I know what I am. I'm a clumsy hoe. And I'm using um, liner brush number 11 mm, just in case you guys are wondering. It's from my brand. Everything I'm using, you guys can find on the website. The link is on the bio. I got a day with laundry. Ooh, how exciting. Laundry is not that fun, but good luck, honey. I hate doing laundry. So glad I'm still awake. I can see how you do those freaking gorgeous nails. Myra, Maria, don't worry. You will be able to finish a video today. So check it out. These are my favorite. Okay, let me see. I'm going to do another one here. Super cute. Raise your hand if you guys like to do um nail art. Today's set is super easy to do that any, any all of us in here can do it. 
you know? Mételo. Laundry never ends. Oh, for real, I hate it so much. <sighs> I prefer encapsulation. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. I know me too. I prefer anything but nail art, but we have to do it. We have to do it because then, how to call it? Um, if you don't do it, you you don't use it, you lose it. All right, I'm gonna do the top. Can you do fills with poly gel? Yes, you can. You could definitely do fills with poly gel. You could do fills with everything. Acrylic, poly gel, hard gel. What else is there? Soft gel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hola. Dice la Karen, hola. Ay, mira, esa, con esa sí habla. No, pues, wow. Yo creo que te voy a dar el número de mi mom, Karen, para que hables con ella, porque no ha hablado todo el tiempo que estamos aquí. Ya vamos a terminar, no, llegaste tú y se alegró. Ay, ya llegó la Karen. Ya te cambié el nombre y todo. Es que ya quiere hablar de chinitos, pero no, 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 today no. Ah, mándamelo puro K-drama. Vamos a chismear. Fuck. Y luego vas a decir, fucking che, para que le di mi número. No me deja de, de llamar todos los días. Porque mi mamá no sabe textear, ¿eh? Le tenemos que enseñar. Ok, mete to, to Dedo. Yeah, all of the products that we're using today, you can find them on the website. The link is on the bio. The poly gel color that I use tonight is called Luscious Lips. All right, I'm going to move my little thingy to the side. And this is where the fun begins, guys. Look at it. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, I actually have to put matte top coat. Just kidding. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of matte top coat. Hi, Lady Coto. How are you? A ver, pate una vez más. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to know how to use marble gel. Um, you mean marble ink, honey? So this, these are the ones I'm gonna use today. No, I mean I'm gonna perrear. These are the colors I'm gonna use today, and also marble ink eleven, which is a yellow. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to get matte. So depending on what you're going to do with a marble ink is if you're going to put gel, matte gel, or shiny gel. I'm going to, I want a little control as to how far my marble bleeds, if that makes sense. If you guys want it to go wherever, just random, you don't care. I recommend you put it over shiny. It does marbling better. But I don't want it to marble. I don't want it to marble. I just want it to kind of spread a little bit. Which red is it? Huh? I'm, I'm not using red. That one's number four. It's a pink. <clears throat> I'm doing good. How about you? I'm over here excited with these new nails that my mother over here is getting because I was like kind of nervous and like, what if she don't like them because she kind of special? Uh-huh, como la Okay, I'm going to put some more are finally arriving. I was like, están trabajando las martas. Can I please see your nails? Yes. Espérate, me falta el dedo gordo. Quiero lo, 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 mm -mm. 
ya? No. Hasta abajo, no seas tímida. No, 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 yo no bailo, Marta, yo no bailo. Yo no bailo, honey. Oh, my God, you're so talented. Thank you. Look, I'm going to show you guys the nails. Hold on, ahorita. Mete la mano. No, mete la mano. Look, guys, so this is what we're going to do today. They're so sexy, colorful, and just cute as fuck. She's ready for June. ready to play all right guys so i'm gonna start opening my inks one of them does does a thing where it just spreads out bitch it just spreads the fuck out look this one is wild and if you guys ever get a gel i mean a marble ink like that let me know and i'll send you a, a brush i personally still use it like that i don't give a fuck let me know all right, so I'm going to start with uh, pink because pink is my favorite color. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to do one nail at a time. And one thing that I am going to tell you is choose your colors accordingly. Like, think in advance, what if I mix this color and this color together, what color does it make? Oh, fuck, I fucked up already. For example, purple, I mean, pink and blue make purple. So, you would want to put it together because that makes a, a nicer color, right? Blue and yellow make what color? green so even though we don't have the purple color but we're gonna make it right now so we don't have purple we don't have green but we're gonna make it um some colors some colors blend and make um like other tones like brown or like dark blues it's up to you if that's what you want on your nail but this, these are supposed to be vibrant, so I'm trying my best to not mix that. So I'm just using alcohol to kind of make them bleed. Wait, you put top coat here and now the ink? Yes, I put matte top coat. So if, like for right here, it's a little pale, I'm, I could add more. I'm just using alcohol to make them kind of like blend into each other a little bit. Kind of like if I'm doing a tie-dye vibes. And then the parts where I, I um came out of the nail, I'm going to put more. So right here, I'm going to add more. And make sure that it dries really good before you try putting top coat. Otherwise, it's going to wrinkle. Me arde la nariz como like se me la corté. All right, so I'm going to put the little orangey one here. And put the yellow. This is a darker yellow. I should probably use, um, I should have used a lighter one. So I'm going to put the blue on the top and the bottom because I'm going to make green right now. And I'm going to make purple. Oh, damn. I put too much, honey. I put too much. So try to not put too much. See how I'm already making purple right there? Oh, my gosh. And then yellow and purple make... What color? I mean, pink and yellow make what color, bitch? The brush go that way, honey. All right, I'm going to start tapping it with alcohol so it could spread out. But don't put too much alcohol, okay? That's the key. Don't put too much because it's going to spread like wildfire, honey. Unless that's what you want. Look at that light. 
Yes, um, Lady Koto, all orders have been shipped. And with the alcohol, just tap it if there's any little white areas and boom. <sighs> Would hot water fix the brush? I don't know about that brush. I don't think so. Oh, look, now this one's doing this thing. I think the alcohol in the brushes just be doing their thing. But I did ask for um for extra brushes from my manufacturer cuz I'm like what the fuck is happening to the brush? And um if your brush ever does that, just let me know in an order and I'll send you another one. I'll send you a little replacement. Esas uñas están de fiesta bailar. Uh-huh, right? Hi, Patrick. Hey, guys. Hey. What are you guys doing? We're having party nails. Fiesta nails. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. You want a pate? Uh, maybe. The laptop charger. Oh, Okay. I was, um, I was about to die. I was over here. I'm almost done to watch TV. Actually, go take a shower. Meanwhile, I'm doing this so we can watch TV after. Why do I need a shower? Because I said so. Because uh, if I don't tell you to shower, you're not going to shower. Yes, I will. You are not going to shower without me telling you tomorrow. I'm going to come back and you didn't shower. No, no, no. I've showered before. Unironically, like one time, it was like a Saturday, and I saw that it was nine. Like, oh, I should probably shower. Mm -hmm. So I showered, even though it was a Saturday, and I technically wasn't told to or was supposed to. They're like, "Hi, Patrick." Hi. Mhm. Mm well, what do I do to you if you don't shower tomorrow? Mm hmm. Exactly. Uh, alcohol roses? I don't remember. I just want him to be squeaky clean. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. Or I'm going to add... This reminds me of a like, little piñata. Piñata, piñata. You know what? I'm just going to make orange over here. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Thug life. I made a little tie-dye flower ones with these years ago. It's been a while now. It wasn't all that and a bag of chips, the ones that I made, though. You guys could totally get creative in what you create with the inks because you could do so much like if you wanted to spread them all over a nail um you would just like dab them and they spread and until you're happy i don't remember if i seen the flowers but i have seen some before I was like, what the hell? How did they do that? How? Hi, what brush are you using to spread the alcohol? I'm actually using a 3D brush. I'm using a 3D brush number six. I just grabbed whatever I could find. We put inks on them. Use alcohol to remove inks in shape roses. Huh? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I understand now. Right, I'm going to try to make green here. And orange over here. More green over here. A little bit of blue. You, If you guys have the color green and stuff like that, and you want to add it to the nail, you could totally do that instead of just creating colors. But just... Just know that um, if the green mixes with 
another color, it will turn into a different color, you know? Let me close my shit before I mess it up. ¿Por qué tan callada tu mom? Tiene sueño. Aunque no diga. She's always quiet. What you talking about, Willis? She don't even talk. We have to force her. We have to force her to speak sometimes. Ask her a question and then she'll talk. Right? This is so pretty. And then you guys can add... Um, you can add gold or silver lining depending on what you like. I asked her what she wanted and she said gold. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I just realized I didn't put any um matte on the white all the way to the top. So por eso it's not stained. So I'm going to wait and then I'll put more. Hello, Bonnie. Es que ella se reservada hasta que agarra confianza. Ajá. Tú sí la conoces. Tú sí. Dile que cómo van con la búsqueda del coreano. Pues ya no hemos buscado, fíjate. Está en pausa. Uh -huh. Sí, está en pausa. Next month for her birthday. Thank you, um, Carmen. Next month for her birthday, I'm going to get her, um, I'm going to encapsulate her, her favorite coreanito on her nails. Mm, that gold makes them look like rich nails. Uh-huh. Excuse me. Se me hace que le voy a llevar a pasear donde hay chinitos. Ay, Kiri, no digas eso porque ya se puso los shoes. Ya menos se ponen los shoes. All right, let me clean it up. Se va a poner los zapatitos right now. Va a decir, vámonos, vámonos, Karen. I told my husband about my Sancho. What, girl? All right, I'm going to put a little bit of acetone in a dampen dish because that's what I'm going to use to clean it. What day does her... Her birthday is on the 24th. Una caminada en la plaza de Koreans en Koreatown. Y ahí lo encuentra. No, hombre. Yo creo que ellos ni caminan. Andan en puro coche. Súbete a mi moto. Así le van a decir. No van a dar caminando los honeys. Vamos a bailar. Mine is June 28th. June 28th. Oh, my God. Amy, girl, what the hell? You better fucking leave his ass. Twin, what? Everybody in here is a a June baby. Preguntale si estaría lista para tener una relación. Que estás lista para tener una relación. Depende como usted a quién encuentra. Hijo. ¿Cómo que depende? <ríe> ¿Sí o no? <ríe> Tampoco te vamos a buscar novia así como en las novelas, así como Blind Date. Estamos hablando de una relación, no de sexo. <ríe> Se empieza con a... el sexo. No, eso va. Al último. No es cierto, eso va primero porque si no está bueno. Oh shit, I'm sorry guys. Uno tiene que empezar con el sexo porque si no está bueno, ¿para qué te enamoras? Mm. You know. Y luego si no lo saben menear, vas a estar triste por toda tu vida. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what? Sí, depende el <risa> candidato. Tiene que ver bien si lo conviene o no. Uh -huh. <risa> uh -huh. Am I right or am I right? New here, hey. 
Ma, ¿qué tengo aquí? Me arde. Nada. What she say? Me? It's because I, I, Karen asked that if she's ready to, es to el, be in a relationship. ¿Eh? Es el polvo. Que no mm. te pusiste en mascarilla. No sé, algo me arde ahí. And she said that it depends. And I'm like, what do you mean it depends? She's like, it depends. And I'm like, the re we're talking about a relationship, not like, like, are you ready for a relationship? Not like ready for the bed. Like S E X. And then she's laughing, but I'm telling her that that should go first and not actual relationship because what if it ain't that good and then you stuck, honey? Dile que vamos a buscar un chinito que le cocine y que le lleve a caminar a la botánica garden. <laughs> <laughs> no, hombre, si supieras que mi mamá es especial, no le gusta que le cocine nada. Pero quién sabe si es un chinito a lo mejor. ¿Verdad? So, ¿ah? Cocinar, dijo. Tiene que ser un chip. Ay, entonces sí. Ok. So, you guys don't have to clean it, but I kind of want to. Just because I was told I'm a sloppy. Eh, just kidding. Fuck that. I don't give a fuck about that shit. But, I'm going to clean it just in case my client doesn't want the liner. And I'm already Gucci, you know? But I know I am going to put a liner. Hola, comadre. Yeah, I feel like it just blends the edges too. So I'm going to be using our dark champagne. Mama doesn't want gold. Yeah, she does. I was just saying. Like, it's because, you know, sometimes your clients be like, oh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want this. And then at the end, they change their mind. And they're like, no, actually, I don't want the gold no more. I'll just keep it like that. And if you leave it like a little sloppy or leak or whatever the fuck you know what i mean then you're like shit well i didn't clean it so that's what i was saying just clean it i use um acetone to clean it so let me zoom you in si no le preguntando cosas de los chinitos hold on let me zoom in hmm. what the fuck did i do How did you get the marble look? I use my marble inks. Number 12, number 11, number 4. I use these. You can find them on my website. And I put a little bit of alcohol. Y luego que empiece a llover, que saque el paraguas. Oh, my God. Wow, qué romántica eres tú, Karen. Yes, it comes off the skin as well. If you guys get it on the skin or whatever, you guys can clean it with acetone. I just don't want to do that part yet because I don't want to accidentally touch my art until after I seal it in with top coat. So I'm going to put the gel here like kind of squiggly, not super like straight because it just gives a different look. Hola, primis. How are you? Oh, man, that gold liner. Mm -hmm. If you guys haven't tried any of our painting gels, girl, they're fire, 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 fire. This one is dark champagne. You guys can find them on the website. They're fire. They look like puzzle pieces. Oh, yeah, that's cute, huh? Mm. You love it, honey? All our painting gels and the glitters are fucking bomb as shit. You don't even have to top coat them. If you wanted these nails to be matte. And then um, with the gold outline, shiny would be bomb. But one thing I'm going to talk about, if you are going to leave your marble inks matte, Don't put matte directly because it bleeds. I don't fucking know why, but it does. So you have to top coat it first. Top coat it with shiny and then matte it. 
Thank me later. Thank me later. Only the shimmery ones. If if they say no wipe, then they're no wipe. Not all of them are no wipe. A ver, mete lo mejor antes que toque el otro. I'm using um my dark champagne painting gel. I was gonna use light gold, but I feel like I always use that one. So this one's my second favorite. <clears throat> y si ¿sí grabé cuando pinté en el video, ¿verdad? Hace rato. Mm, ¿De esta otra mano? Uh -huh. mm, creo que sí. Mm. I, I kind of recorded part of it. So I recorded her other hand. I'll post that tomorrow. If I remember. If not, you guys can watch it on YouTube later when I upload it. I love that color. I have it. It's bomb. Yeah, girl. I want to do my nails, pero ya me dio hueva. Ay, Amy. Fuera con la hueva. ¿Más quieres que te decore los pies también? O ahorita no, pero con poligel. Te hago la uñita bien cuadradita. Mm -hmm. Para que te pongas chanclas. A ver, dámelo. I'm going to do my nails with poly shell. All right, I'm gonna do. Wait, can you guys see that now? This gives me like. Oh fuck! I made it too thick. There's no such thing as too thick, bitch. Different thickness. Um, it gives me tie dye vibes. Is what it's giving. I asked my mom which which design she liked the best um, earlier on her other hand. Metalo. And she, I did one of these in her middle finger. Mira, dámelo. So that's why this time I did her two of these middle ones. But look at how cute. I kind of feel like I want to put a little star or some shit, a little moon in there. I'm just gonna leave them like that before she beats me up. She's like, I don't want any bling or anything like that because she wants to fucking take a break. She wants to take a little break. All right, right now I'm gonna top coat them. Let me see. Let me see what we have in here. You guys want me to get hit? <laughs> it doesn't need bling, right? Like it's perfect. Whereas to she could leave it just as is and it's fire. Okay, I'm gonna My Sancho wants to meet his mama. What? Your Sancho wants you to meet your his mama? Look, so this is what they would look like if they were matte. So they look super cute matte. With the glitter shiny. They look cute as fuck, huh? All right, put la otra mano aquí. Which one do you guys like better? Matte or shiny? Así, voltela. Pero para abajo, para que la vean así, así, así. Shiny, matte. Shiny, matte. Well, if you guys like matte, better you do that on yourself. <laughs> because she only likes shiny. But they do be looking cute as fuck, matte. So I'm gonna um, top coat them and then... I'll clean up her cuticle that I got there. The marble ink on her cuticle. Matt, if you put a couple bling, shiny without bling. Oh, yes, that would be cute as fuck. So I dare you guys to try this out. Let's 
super pretty. ¿Cómo te gusta más mate o shiny? Viene siendo mate. Así, ah, eh, este. Uh, este, si lo ves de lejos, tiene los colores de un perico. Ah, sí, cierto. Uh -huh. Yes, I use um, the marble ink. Un periquito. Yes, guys, I'm going to upload this on YouTube. I actually uploaded my nails on YouTube earlier today, the orange ones. So I won't upload these until probably the weekend. Oh, shit. We're ready in the weekend, bitch. Until next week. So if you guys are going to wait for that video, you guys are going to have to wait until like next week or so. Hi, Sylvia. Um, but I did record like a quick little tutorial um, on the process. So I'll upload that hopefully tomorrow. What does it mean when a top coat says no wipe? It means you don't have to wipe it. It doesn't leave a tacky layer. Because back in the day, they used to make all the gels with a tacky layer. And you had to cleanse it with alcohol. I missed this tutorial. Girl, where were you? Where are you working? Don't worry, guys. It's because I went a little quick today, huh? Nah, just kidding. I feel like it took a long time. I'll be posting it tomorrow. Like, the it's going to be a four-minute um, process video with application and everything. And if you guys want to see the everything, everything, then... um, What's it called? Then you have to wait till like... Monday or Tuesday. I find your gold art gels to not be sticky at all. It's because they're no wipe. The gold ones, the gold series, they're no wipe, so they're not sticky. You don't have to top coat them, but since I'm already top coating the whole nail, might as well. These are not acrylic. These are poly gel nail. Poly gel and marble ink. You guys wouldn't tell, huh? You guys will not be able to tell if I didn't tell you that these are not acrylics. They look like acrylics, huh? Oh, shit. Hold on. This is why I hate being zoomed in. Pastelito tonight? <gasps> yes, girl. Ahorita me voy a chingar un pastelito. ¿Mata a comer uno tú también? No, hombre. Ya son muchas calorías con las que me comí con Ta el qué? diablo. Tag life. So, I did kind of mess up on the thumb, but it's okay. These nails are free, so it don't matter. She don't really care. I make sure when you guys mat the nails, mat them very good. I didn't mat all the way to the cuticle. And that's why you guys could see a little white. Because the marble ink didn't stay there because it was shiny. The no wipe, you still cure it, right? Yes, you have to cure them all. They just don't stay tacky. I met them. Um, están preguntando que si te preguntan quién te hace las uñas en cuando sales a las a la calle. Mhm. Uh -huh. Sí, hay veces. ¿Y qué dices? Pues que las haces tú. ¿Y cómo no chingados van a saber quién soy? Uh, pues por, o sea, por el nombre y y este y ves. Digo que estás en YouTube. Porque es donde yo me meto. ¿Pero qué les dices? Oh, sí, les hace una muchacha que veo en el YouTube. No, le, le he dicho no. Me las hace mi hija. Y es, la uh -huh. pueden encontrar en YouTube. Le. En el YouTube, en el Instagram, en el TikTok, donde el, sea. Uh -huh. Pero es que como en otro lado yo no me meto, pues nada más ahí en el YouTube. Me like, sí, se llama Chulay. Le dice, me la hace mi hija, tiene su canal de YouTube. Ay, mira, la potero te está, te está corrigiendo. Uh -huh. Ajá, YouTube, I love el YouTube. Ajá, el This took us less than two hours, bitch. That is so good, girl. We did hella nail art, but I only did one hand, so that was a long time still. Hi, Sherry. 
<clears throat> hi, Joseph. Um, hi, Zulia Manuelita. No, no es Manuelita, es Miguelita. <laughs> Manuela es la que usan el vato. Nomás contesta por ella. Yo voy a ser su representante. Ay, thank you, me. Oh, contestaste. Oh, ok, ok, ok. I'm just kidding. Is that mama? Yes. Um, I don't know what I did to my phone. Oh, there you go. I'm like, how the fuck can I fucking zoom out? Mi masaje está bueno, ¿verdad? Mira. Mm -hmm. In manicure school, they used to teach us like this. Look. One, two, three, and pull. One, two, three, and pull. Like, uy, ahí sí se duerme. One, two, three, and pull. Who wants me to teach you a, a manic, a massage, massage? You can ask your, your, um, your clients. You want my hand massage? Ten la lamo. Yeah, that, I don't know if they still do it like that, but they go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. I don't know how many times. And then you go from the bottom. You turn it, go one, two, three to the top, to the knuckle, and then you pull. And then you do the same thing all the way to the top, and then you pull. I think you do it three times to every finger, right? ¿Se siente bien? Es que tengo los dedos las, de salchicha. Las chinitas hay veces que dan, dan ese masaje. Mm -hmm. cuando te es que bien. así te lo enseñan en la escuela. Mm -hmm. And then you go to the hand. Pero tienen que ponerle lotion. And you go one, two, three. And you pull. And then you turn the hand. You do it a couple times. And then you turn the hand around. And then you do the same. One, two, three. And you pull. Y luego, they're going to want nails done more often. Y hasta el brazo, ¿eh? Mm -hmm. Ok, a ver. Show me your nails. I should do manicure so I could get hella tips for fucking that massage. Alright, guys. These are the finished nails. What do you guys think? Zule, are you swatching the new poly gels? Not today. I was going to swatch them today, but I want to go spend some time with Patrick, watch TV, um, because I have to go to work tomorrow. So I'll swatch them next week. Um, But just know that they're beautiful. This is one of the new colors. This is Luscious Lips. The full collection is fucking beautiful and full of nudes. <laughs> so go subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you guys are not subscribed already, leave me some love, bitch. Leave me a comment, a little like, whatever you like. And um, I'll see you guys next time. How do you like poly gel versus acrylic? I like them both. Like... Originally, I decided I was going to get poly gel because in the cold, acrylic turns into water. So I was like, maybe that's going to be my best friend in the cold, right? But hot or cold, bitch. I love poly gel. It just takes a little practice, but once you get the hang of it, it's Gucci Gucci. Look at the little side view. Phew, phew. Um, during, for this weekend... For Memorial Day weekend, um, if you guys get the whole poly gel collection, the new one, you guys are going to get um, the the brush, the two-in-one spatula and brush, and the gel brush with the, with the collection, okay? So, after the holiday's over, I'm just going to have the collection on its own. Where is the site? Can I find the marble ink? Um, it should be on other on other how much the collection is 140 it comes with 13 colors the brush with the spatula and the other brush so both of the brushes that i use today 13 poly gels 
two brushes for 140. All right. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Have a beautiful night. Thank you guys for joining me. Bye. 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 I'll see you. Bye. All right, bye guys. Una noche más y copas de más. Tú no me dejas en paz de mi mente no te va.